welcome to Jackson Davis Elementary School. I am Anna Lingerfelt, our school librarian, and this is Nancy Wallace, our innovative learning coach. Today we are with Ms. Conley's fourth grade class where we will be using Bloxels to create our very own video game. Dun, dun, dun. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay. So today, yeah, we're gonna be gamers. You can call me Miss Kringle Melt today, and this is? Hashtag Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, so we're your gamers and instructional coaches today. You are going to be making a character in Block Souls that represents something you have learned so far in the fourth grade. It could be Colonial Virginia, weather, ecosystems. Maybe you're gonna to wanna to do something from math like place values and multiplication. Maybe, what am I missing? Jamestown, American Revolution. You guys have learned so much. You're gonna choose a character to represent that topic and we will be building that in Bloxels and uploading it into the app Bloxels to play today. Next week when we see you, you're gonna be creating the background of your game based on your topic. So when we are all done, you will have a customized video game based on something you've learned so far in fourth grade that you can play and your friends can play as well, okay? So Ms. Wallace, how will they know they have been successful? So here is your success criteria. Um, up here, you're gonna know that you need to include facts and details and your game level that show the event or topic clearly. You're gonna be creative thinkers by adding fun and unique design ideas. You're going to work well, so you're going to collaborate with your group by sharing your ideas, taking turns and helping each other. You're going to check your game to make sure it matches the topic and makes sense, and you're going to explain your game and how it was made to the class. So you need to be able to do that today. All right. And here we are with the directions. Excellent. So what is an educational video game? Eli, what does that mean? It's a video game that is fun, but it also teaches you something. But it teaches you something. Now, you guys with Miss Wallace have learned how to do Minecraft for education, right? Now, that game can be educational. But really, any video game can be educational because it really encapsulates a lot of the points of our Henrico learner profile. When you're playing a video game, or even better, making a video game, are you being critical thinkers? Mm -hmm. Right? Like if you're dying in a level, or if you're not getting the points you need to move on to a different level, you have to problem solve. You have to think, okay, what went wrong, and what can I do differently this next time? Right? Um, sometimes do you collaborate when you're playing a video game? Right? In educational Minecraft, you guys are joining each other's worlds. How many of you have these super cool headsets where you can talk to friends while you're playing a game, right? You're collaborating, you're communicating with them. We're gonna be global citizens today by being good digital citizens. We're gonna be respectful of each other and your team. You're gonna be respectful of the property that we have. You're gonna be respectful of being online and creating something in this app and making good citizenship choices there. And we're gonna be showing off our quality character by just being kind humans and having fun with your partners today, okay? So you've already chosen your topic. You've already sketched out what that's gonna look like. The next step today is gonna to be to use your game board, okay? And these itty bitty little blocks or pieces. A lot of times in video games, especially the old school video games, these are referred to as pixels, right? A pixelated part is a little square that works together to create a picture. Think about those Minecraft, very blocky kind of characters, right? That's what it's going to look like. There's not going to be a lot of curves. Everything's going to be kind of edgy. So use that how you want to, okay? Now, while these are the only colors of the actual blocksels we have, in the app, you can edit the colors. So if you're trying to make um, somebody from Jamestown with a black tri-corner hat, you can use a color in here and then we can edit that in the app, okay? All right, um, so I'm gonna show you very quickly how to use the app when you are ready. So we're gonna take a few minutes to work together to build your character on the board. And then I'm gonna show you really quickly how you can um, upload that into the app to start testing it out. Mine will look a little bit different than yours because mine's web-based. It's not an application on the iPad. But when you open it up, 
we're going to turn the volume all the way down because if we have 20 of those going at the same time, it'll be a little too much. We are not just playing the game today, though, guys. We are the game creators. We are building. So I'm going to go to the builder portion. Now that I'm logged in, we're going to go here to the builder app where we are starting by building our what? Characters. Our characters. So when I go to my character building part, I'm going to be able to see things that other students have already created. We have a George Washington. He's going to be someone's main character. A Mr. Turtle. That was from an Oceans. They're going to do that. But you guys are going to be creating your new character, OK? Once you create your new character, you'll be able to use the camera button up here on yours to upload it into the app. And Miss Wallace and Miss DC and myself are here to help you with that portion. Now, I'm going to show you what it'll look like once it's in there. I'm going to use Mr. Washington here. Hello, senor. I'm going to go do edit. Now, here he is. This is what he's looking like when he's just idle. He's just standing there. I've uploaded him in there. Then on your board, you can make little changes to make it look like what he'll look like when he's walking. Do you see how they changed his legs so that when he's walking, he'll be looking like this? And then he's idle. And then he's walking. The next one they did is how he's going to jump. So they have his arms going out, his legs going out a little bit more. And then finally, they changed it so when he's falling, ah, he's looking like that. So each time you can change a little bit on your board and then upload that into the, the block. When you're ready, you'll be able to test it out and see what it looks like when you're actually playing in a game. OK? So your first step, we're going to start a timer so you can stay focused and make sure you're really working together well, is going to be to use the, the sketch you made about what your character will look like, and you're going to create that in the board. Whenever you're ready, you're going to go to the Bloxel app, character, and you're going to upload that picture. And if you need help, you raise your hand. You have three teachers who are ready to help you out. Are there any questions on what's expected before you're getting started? OK, I'm so excited to see what you guys make. Awesome. Go for it. I'm going to go ahead and start our timer. The head right here. What direction is yours facing? There's not gonna so be maybe Anna can be starting on the pants down here. Maybe Cole can start on like the hands. Yeah, like that. Yo, this is. This is absolutely And it's not that you need it, but if you wanted to see some Good. examples, like here are some pixelated kind of people if you wanted to see that. Yeah. All right, so you guys are doing math, and you're doing your addition dude. This town in the U.S. region, so you're going to make a man, okay? So he's using this. Which, one, which direction are you going? What's this? We need to make a The head. And then the face, okay, so you could also, not that you need to, you can be doing this, but you can use this to see like what it'll look like. But maybe, Carla, can you work on getting a color and then doing the legs and the body? You want to do that? Ooh, fear enough? This one's good. We need arms. We need arms. Okay. What are you making? Yeah, that's good. It is. Why? It is. Well, what are those? It, well so we I was going to tell you, it looks like one. Um, color them different colors in the app so that we can start. Yeah, that's the what did you want? Oh, sorry. Well, we need two eyes. Did you want this to be... Yeah. I think we should just fill it all in and then make yeah, it Yeah, and then we colors. can change the colors in the app once yeah. we us. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just put a lot of blocks in the inside of it. Here, do you want to help us? Yeah, um, not that you need it, however. There are so some, are some let's see. So we're going to change oh, we're gonna the colors change in the, the app. Colors there are some colors. examples. You can do I don't know if this is helpful or not, so but like, we're you know, that's like a skull face if you Character. wanted. Or you could look at just like, like this kind of face. Like oh, don't this. we need arms? So um, right here on your sketch, this looks like an eye and mouth, arms. right? So you have that. Well, that I mean, if here. you want, this could be no, your eye, and you could just do like a mouth below it. Yeah, Jason. It's up to you guys, it. though. And I can't see it, Jason. What do you think? Maybe not all the way down there. Yes. 
Now those are gonna be too long because like, they're longer than the feet, so like that. Yeah, should start. Yeah. And then they wanna be like small feet. Take that one. Start. Part goes better than ours. So here are some examples, but that's not carrots. Let me see. This one has some. These came with the board, okay. and I think it's like, do you want a swag, But yeah, the ones that I showed them, let's go get it for them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was amazing. Oh, there it is. There it is, you got it. What do you mean? Uh, we're not going to worry about the colors though, right? Okay. You know what to do next? What if, Yeah. what if you make his head come out this way? Remember, the next thing is, do you want to make it walk? Do you want to do that? All right, now now we've got to make him. How are we going to make him look like he's walking? A little bit. Well, you can see what you think. Oh, this is a shark. He's probably the same as his body. He's gonna look like know. Mario Guzman. Let me just add the feet here. There you go. This is looking good. All right, how are you gonna do his teeth? Are these his teeth here? All right. Because remember, your and great white walking. needs super sharp teeth. Maybe All right. like, we can do and a copy of that. What do you? Oh, did it work? Make it about okay. that. Mila liked it. Wait, have you? Wait, oh. All right, lift it up even higher, and it'll give it a green outline. I, I got ahead of me. You guys are very focused, and I love that a lot of you are already ready to import it into your app. So please let us know if you need help. Yes. Are you doing it to walk now? Um, I love that. That's perfect. How are you guys doing? Are you good? Yeah, just keep doing that. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, did you put it in your app already? All right, get in the app. Now hit the camera. Lots of steps. Okay, and then you're gonna, it's kind of like a QR code. You hold it up until it gets a green outline. Oh, my, I was in the way. There you go. Perfect, okay. Now, even though it does that, here's what you can do. You can accept, because then, oh, excuse me. Then you can go to the eraser and zoop, 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 all that. Okay, and then you can change whatever you need. Okay, so when he's walking, what do you want him to look like? When he's tiny, they are. How do I exit out of here? Hey, uh, builders, can I have your eyes for just a quick second? Something I would like to bring up to you. Some of you have noticed when you import it into the app, the, the colors will change or sometimes it adds random blocks. How many of you have seen that? Okay, so one option you have is over here in your color palette, you can get the eraser and you can erase any that you don't want on there. So that's a pretty easy fix. Similarly, if I want to change my color, I don't want him to be red. George Washington's favorite color was pink. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to do pink instead. I can even choose what shade of pink, and then I can very quickly edit my character. So that's an easy way to edit it in the app and not on the board. Thank you for your attention. Oh, that's a great tip, Miss L. Thank you, ma'am. I am super impressed with y'all's focus. Can I help you guys get started? Okay, well, let's start by doing the outline. How about that? So let's do your outline of your shark. So who's gonna go up, right? Where are his, where are his teeth gonna go? Maybe his arms. Ooh, are you doing one every other for his teeth? We only have a few more minutes to build, so we want to make sure we're being super focused. Here, a little. And then we want it to kind of go down, right? Like this. Okay. I think that's enough teeth. Do you want it to go, one minute, Amar, do you want it to go down this way and have like a tail? Okay. Do his tail. And then do you want to build it down here, Olivia, and then fill in that part? What color should his eye be? Black. Okay, what do you want to use as a seed? We did it! Purple's pretty dark. Maybe up here or something? Okay. 
So Amari, here we go. fill in the rest we of it with blue. And Olivia's gonna oh, yeah. fill in the tail. Oh yeah. Okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So Amari, you're gonna fill in the rest of this part. Amari, look, you're gonna fill in this part with blue, and Olivia's doing the tail, so we can finish that up. Keep it on idle. There you go. Owl is gonna be new. Idle is now gonna be like this. Oh, good, oh, good. Yeah, he's one block. It says fit all corners, and it is all in there. Well, it's weird. Usually it immediately fills it. All right, put it down and then go, let's go back up. Maybe it needs to reset. Okay. All the way up. Oh, yes. Like tilt it down maybe a little bit. There you go. Why is it taking so long now? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the new idol. What? What is All right, that we're gonna add. Awesome. And we're gonna try. What, what is this character? Oh, yeah. it a no. oh. Yeah. Just is like that? Oh, so you changed your Love it. Has Jake been able to help? Mm, give him a job. Jake, now he has to do the arms. Are we done? All right, cuties. Hopefully at this point, yours is in. Hopefully you're starting to play with what it looks like walking, jumping, falling. And once you do, we have a few minutes for you now to test out your character. How does it look in the game? You want help holding it up a little bit more? It has to have all green around it. There you go. Is this for its jumping? Oh, no. Sometimes they just get tired, you know? Oh, poor Anna, your cough sounds terrible, honey. Sorry, Mila, I'm all up on you. He's just not feeling it, y'all. Um, we had one extra, and it was not allowing us. <clears throat> when all else fails, I just start over the app. But sometimes it just needs a refresh. He looks really cool. He looks really cool. Oh. Alright, wait. Characters. New. Camera. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you'll accept that. Yeah, and then you can just erase that part. Maybe Anna can erase that part. Oh, the adult smurf though. What is? Oh, because it's blue. So he becomes invisible in sky levels. You mean? Look at what it's only testing it. His face is so cute though. Oh, that's hilarious. Maybe that's his superpower though, guys. Because he's like mostly invisible in the sky levels. You guys, you figured it out. Awesome. You figured it out. Is that your fish? Yeah. Dude. We figured it out. Look at all of his different motions. That is really, really cool. How are you lovelies happening doing over here? Oh, you're gonna make it jump. It's hard to make a flower jump. Not going. Mm. He's invisible jump. Oh, I just see space. Wait, he can jump. fly? Yeah. Oh, the dark? Cut it. Flora, quick. Um, maybe just make his arms go up? I love it. Do you want to get his... Like move his legs at all? I'm gonna get that extra hard. Wait. I think that's perfect. Come just go in the water. Yeah, I can't get through the water. Jump out. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our lesson. We are dolphin strong. Bye.